So the mounting options are a bit constricting. What you have to do is uh, put it up in front as far forward as you can. And obviously with no other interactions from the frame, propellers or whatever. Now, after you mount it, I use a 3M tape double sided to stick it in place. And you have to connect it to the pixel using the cable. If you want to use two sensors, one for object avoidance and the other one for height estimation, and you do not have any other serial port available, you can use these items to make the following cable. This will enable you to use serial port 4 and 5 on the Pixel with two sensors simultaneously for height estimation and object avoidance. This is the height sensor and this is the obstacle avoidance sensor. Using the split cable that I made, it's all connected down to the Pixhawk serial port 4 and 5, which is the same port. This is how it should look like if you're having everything in the correct manner. After mounting the sensor, now we have to do some configuration. So we fire up Mission Planner, turn on the copter, we connect to the vehicle. You go to full parameter list using the manual from Ben and Wake. You search for the following parameters. First up, we will set up the head estimation sensor. So avoid, avoid margin. It is recommended to be at two, but I used one meter. You have to put whatever you think works best for you. Then serial port 4. This is the LiDAR that I use for height estimation. You set up the baud rate to be 115. And you set up the protocol to be 9. As in range finder. Then you go to the range finder type and it is 20 that means many awake tf mini in the manual it says you have to put on 8 but 20 works for me so it's it's all right then you go range finder scaling which is 1 i think it's the default anyway and then you go to set up the range finder minimum centimeters, which is 30. Then you go to the max, it's 600. It is recommended to use 600 for outdoor use. Then you go for the ground clear. Uh, I use 10, it, it is actually the distance between the sensor and the bottom of the, of the vehicle. And then you go set up the orientation, 25, which means down. Then you set up the PRX type. It is uh, zero, but if you want to use the object avoidance, you have to type in four. We will see that later. And the PRX your core. It's a 22 degrees, but for now it works, so I just leave it as it is. Then you go to the Arduino Pilot web page to see if there's anything else that needs to be configured. We have already set up serial port 4 to be 9, the serial 4 baud to be 115, the range finder type to be 20, the range finder minimum centimeters to be 30, the range finder max centimeters to be 600 for outdoors, 
the rain's fine like that ground clear is already set up so we should be good to go before moving on to setting up the object avoidance we can check the sensor after writing down the parameters you need to reboot the vehicle preferably the hard reboot removing the battery and reconnecting and you can see that i have a reading from the sonar range which is zero three if i lift up the vehicle you're gonna see the reading increase so it works then we will continue and set up the object avoidance sensor to set up the object avoidance you need to go again to the parameter list and follow the manual of the TF Mini for setting up the sensor in object avoidance mode you need to, to set up the following parameters so let's go again avoid needs to be avoid margin I have this set up as one but you can put whatever you want it is actually the distance that it will try to stay away from serial port 5 is my port that I use is the port that I use for the second sensor for the object avoidance you need to set up the serial 5 bouts to be 115 the serial 5 protocol to be 9 then you go and you use the range finder but you're gonna have to use range finder 2 as it says here you need to use range finder 2 in my case range finder 1 was the height estimation sensor and the range finder 2 was the object avoidance but you might get the other way around depends on your setup let's find it to type let's find it to type I have set it up to 8 you can also put it 20 but it works for me so I will, I will just leave it as it is 8 or 20 range finder 2 scaling it's 1 I think it's also the default range finder 2 minimum centimeters to be 30 maximum centimeters to be 400 if you have seen my previous video you have noticed that I decreased the range of the sensor because you do not actually need 12 meters that is the maximum that this sensor can provide for object avoidance I think it's a waste of energy so I have made the sensor to only be capable of detecting 5 meters of uh, distance to be on the safe side I've used 4, four, four meters so that I have a spare one meter if uh, it cannot read reliably enough because it says maximum distance in centimeters that the range finder can reliably read so it's gonna have to be good enough and then you set up the range finder ground clear so it's not actually ground clear it is actually the distance between the the frame and the mount of the sensor you have to also take into consideration the length of the props so uh, all in all it can work with 10 if you don't want to measure it then you go to the range finder gain let's find the gain 0 0.8 and then you go to the range finder to orientation this is very important this is the forward sensor is zero and then you type as I said before you're gonna need to type the PRX parameter to be four and the PRX your core should be zero I'm not sure which of the two configuration parameters you need to use because in the altitude sensor you have to use the P PRX yaw core to be 22 but in the 
object avoidance you have to type in zero so I just let it be and if I have any problems I will update it so after doing these configurations you also need to do one final thing avoid enable should be 7 to enable avoidance using proximity sensors so let's test the sensors we have already set up and tested the height sensor so let's test the object avoidance I will use my hand to block the sensor and see if it works so you just press ctrl F bring up this window and click the proximity before testing the sensor it is very important to do a reboot just remove the battery and power it back on connect it and see if it works it might not work because it needs a reboot so you can see that it works now I, I have in front of my drone a one and a half meter distance to the wall I will put my hand in front and you will see that the red barrier is moving behind as you can see the red barrier is moving up and down so it means that we have a reading so that's all I hope you enjoyed the video and you have actually managed to set up your own quadcopter or hexcopter whatever you have until next time fly safe